James Corden's tenure at The Late Late Show ended in a blaze of glory last week, with A-list guests including Harry Styles, Tom Cruise and Adele helping him see off his show in style. After an eight-year run on the CBS chat show, Corden said goodbye to the series, and the U.S. dash with his final appearance on April 28. Announcing his exit plans a year ago, Corden has always maintained he was quitting the series to return to the UK, and to spend more time with his wife and three children Max, 12, Carrie, 8 and Charlotte, 5. However, a new report by Los Angeles Magazine claims a well-placed source has said the show was not sustainable and burning money for the broadcaster. Former CNN anchor Brian Steller claims an executive from the show said CBS simply couldn't afford him anymore. They added the series cost $60 million to $65 million a year to run, but was only recouping around $45 million of that budget. The report claims should Corden have stayed, he would have had to face a multi-million dollar pay cut, painful staff reductions or both in order to continue, comparing it to a late-night reckoning. Express.co.uk has contacted Corden's reps for comment. For his final show, Corden welcomes special guests Will Ferrell and Harry Styles to the studio and even received a surprise message from President Joe Biden. It capped off a week of special guests and sketches, which included Tom Cruise and Corden Gate crashing a performance of The Lion King dressed like Timon and Pumbaa, and a final crosswalk the musical which ended in Corden getting hit by a car. Don't miss! James Corden shares story about his son that led him to quit show, explained, Tom Cruise and James Corden surprise unexpecting Lion King audience, video, Sir Patrick Stewart and James Corden bury hatchet after awards row, feud, his final carpool karaoke saw him reunite with Adele and both crying as they emotionally spoke about their long-time friendship. At the end of the final episode, Corden broke down in tears again as he reflected on the historical moments covered in his eight-year stretch on the show. I've watched America change a lot over these past few years, I've watched divisions grow, I felt a sense of negativity, he told cameras. I guess all I really want to say, I implore you to remember what America signifies to the rest of the world. My entire life, it's always been a place of optimism and joy. Corden originally took over the show from Craig Ferguson in 2015, with his replacement yet to be announced. i